Hello everybody and welcome to the final match of round 2 of the Generation Jumble. We have Mitt 1914 versus Zack and Theus. This is the final match and then we're on the round 3. I am very excited to see uh, what these two have in store. Let's just get right into it, shall we? Alright, starting off with Tauros and Metagross weeds. Definitely not Pokemon you would expect to see in the front. You would probably expect them like in the back. Very interesting, but, uh, oh, I don't know why, but I kind of like Stella for a name of Starmie. Ooh, Thunder Punch Metagross. You don't see that a lot, but that's nice. Heat Demon's also a pretty cool nickname. And the Ninetales uh, scares out the Metagross. The Confusion and Fire Spin is nice. Looks like you get a free turn in. Aerodactyl, wow. And Reflect. Okay, this is already a, a crazy game. <laughs> Already seeing so much crazy stuff already. The Aerodactyl is trapped in a fire spin lock. Get a free switch in to Starmie. Unfortunately, the Aerodactyl is faster. But now you go into Tauros. You get hurt with confusion. Blizzard doesn't kill. But the confusion ended at the very least. Does Fire Blast get the burn? No, it doesn't. Wow, Stomp kills? That's interesting. Okay, switching in the Ninetales. Probably expected. I'm assuming you're going to go into a confused way of fire spin right now. Or actually, no, you're not. I forgot. A subtile has Earthquake. Man, Mint just has really good nicknames with a Pokemon. And Electabuzz is another Pokemon you don't really see much of. Unfortunately, a crit from a sword- from like a- Sceptile does kill. I was going to say the Sword Stance mattered. And yeah, I had a feeling I think probably had Ice Punch on it. Okay, Sceptile Mirror. I'm assuming second Theus's will win, but I'm not entirely sure. Like, will that will Mitt switch out? No, they won't. Thunder Punch is interesting. <laughs> oh wait, both of them have Thunder Punch under Sceptile? Why? I am so confused. Oh well. Okay, so. The last Pokemon is Terrakion. Not surprised, as Zacanthias loves Terrakion. Oh, but the last Pokemon is Glyscore. That is so unfortunate. And you get a crit too! Okay. Uh, it's just a Chansey versus the world going for Headbutt, trying to get those uh, flinches. Unfortunately, Sword Stance is going to uh, easily just beat anything this Chansey tries to do. Okay, you got two defense boosts. But it's Toro, so it crits a lot. Oh, you- Ooh, you would've went for a physical move. You would've won there. Oh, that was a close battle. I'm not even sure what the damage range is there. But holy crap, that might've been the closest match so far in the Generation Jumble. So already, you guys- This has already been a crazy match. Alright, round two. Same lead? No. Starting with Ninetales and Aerodactyl. Okay. Hide me behind a substitute. The Squy score can't do much anymore. And now it's burned, which makes it even worse. Okay, what does Mi Oh, I guess you're just trying to break the sub? But it's probably not gonna do much. Maybe you're scared of switching out? What? Oh, e that was a crit too, and that still wasn't enough. Okay, Zach and Thieves is in a great position right now. Like, unfortunately, a crit Hyper Boom does so much damage. You, pr you think you have the good recovery here, right? Or, okay, that works too. That, that, that definitely works too. Oh, but you miss with Hydro Pump. Oh, that is sad. Okay, going into Aerodactyl. Can Revenge kill? But I think at this point, the damage has already been done. Like, that Aerodactyl alone already killed two of your more, more powerful Pokemon. Hyper Beam, Zapdos. It does uh, good damage, but not enough. Has to do a recharge turn, which gives Hydreigon more chances to hit Fire Blast. Another Hyper Beam does not kill, so this Hydreigon will be finishing off this uh, Zapdos, most likely. Yeah, there we go. Hydreigon can be revenge killed, but Mint is just running out of Pokemon. To go into the Skarmory, I don't think this Tauros has Fire Blast, so the Skarmory can probably stand pretty comfortably. I don't think it cares too much about Blizzard. Okay, a free drill pick of the Ninetales. Yep, Slowbro. Oh my gosh, I do not know how mid-1914 beats Slowbro. 
Okay, that's how. Okay, that, that, that actually makes it pretty easy. But Skarmory just hard counters Sceptile. It just resists everything it has. It's, oh, I, I forgot they're using Thunder Punch. Okay, maybe this is like the one reason for you to use like Thunder Punch on your Sceptile. Specifically for Skarmory and only Skarmory. Okay, Body Slam paralyzes. Earthquake doesn't finish it off. Does Fire Blast kill? No, it doesn't. That's unfortunate. But what else do you have? You have your Sceptile full HP. It could take on the Slowbro. So now it just depends on what the last Pokemon is. And it is Terrakion. Okay, this is unfortunate. But Terrakion survives! Oh, but it's not enough. Okay, that is sad. Uh, last time we have Swobro. And Swobro just... You went for Thunder Punch? Okay, that was interesting. Uh, last time we have a full HP Tauros. Misses Hyper Beam. Okay, this is already a pretty, pretty crazy match. And that Swobro had... Oh, we only got to see Blizzard. Alright. Final round. Let's see how this goes. Okay, Ninetales lead, Zapdos, Mr. Yellow. Mm. Going for white screen. Okay, these are some very interesting sets. Uh, let's see here, just going for Thunderbolt. Did not expect it to do that much damage. Holy crap. Okay, Ninetales is worse than I thought. Uh, very sad. Otter's hand does decent damage. Going for Reflect 2? What the heck is this set? This Zapdos is just terrifying. Ish. So it's just Drill Pick, Thunderbolt, Ice Cream Reflect? Wow. On the bright side, it can't really switch out. And it can't really paralyze you either, so. But then again, Zacanthia has already took out two of uh, Mint Pokemon, so. Oof. Hyper Beam kills. But I think Body is going to also could have killed there. Don't know for sure. Oh my gosh, the one-time Bitter Malice is, like, actually relevant. That is hilarious. That is absolutely hilarious. Hyper Beam doesn't work. Now you just get killed. Alright. Sceptile. Uh, I guess you're trying to fish for paralysis there. Flamethrower. Wait, was that a crit? Okay, what's a crit? Yeah. Just a Starmie against the world. And it's probably not gonna work. So, Zach and Theus, I think I can say definitively won this. But especially that first game, which is so close. Like, oh my gosh. Huh. But don't worry, Mint 1914. Now that round two is over, that everyone that lost will now start in the losers bracket. I don't know who faces who yet. I'll have to recheck. But that will be starting very soon. Probably later today. So thank you all for watching. Round two is over. And until next time, this is Groundback. And I look forward to hearing from you.